light years ago, deep in the cosmos, a unique digital entity came into being. In search of other life forms, it sent explorers out to the furthest reaches of the galaxy. These digital, mechanical beings became known as Transformers. One of the first planets inhabited was soon to become known throughout time and space as Cybertron. A civil war between them raged on, and at stake was a race of tiny bots known as Minicons. Always considered smart tools used to boost power, these Minicons were awakened by an inner protocol. They then joined forces and resisted domination by both Autobots and Decepticons. Battle after battle proved nothing, and after many casualties, the Autobots and Decepticons were caught in a deadlock. Realizing that victory would come at too high a price, the warring factions called a truce. And in this truce, it was decided that an enormous craft be constructed for the Minicons, who would be catapulted into space, never to be used as pawns in another galactic war again. Finally, after drifting for millions of years, the Minicon ship collided with a moon circling a primitive planet known as Earth. The craft and cargo shattered. Casting Minicons to every corner of the planet. Eventually, the Earth shifted, and for millions of years, the Minicons lay dormant. And that's where our story begins. Transformers. Hi, my name's Rad. I guess you could say I come from your average, ordinary neighborhood, and my school, well, I guess it's okay. Oh, yeah! Huh? Hey! That's my buddy Carlos. He's really cool, and we hang out pretty much all the time. I guess I've known him since kindergarten. Carlos is one sweet skateboarder. I bet if you put his mind to it, one day he could turn pro. Woo! Yeah! That's Lincoln Middle School. I'm in seventh grade, and this is where our adventure begins. Man, you beat me again, dude. That's three days in a row. <laughs> yeah, all right. Alexis, how you doing? Huh? Oh. oh, yeah. Good morning, Rad. Hey, we were just wondering if you wanted to come with us after school. We're heading up the mountain to scope out this wicked cave we found. Sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to take a rain check. I've got a math test, and I told my mom I'd come straight home. So for the last time, the answer's no! Whoa. <laughs> Is it just me, or do you get the distinct feeling that Little Miss Stuck Up dissed us big time? I hope you realize I heard that, Rad. I tell you, man, there's just no winning when it comes to girls, is there? Well, if it isn't the Dweeb Twins. Huh? I can't believe you're such suckers for punishment. So how come you guys never invite me and Billy along, huh? That's a stupid question. Who cares? I mean, would you seriously want to be seen in public with these two... these two geeks? <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. It'd be like hanging out with first graders. Yeah. <sighs> hey, why don't you mind your own business, you creeps? Uh -huh. If you hadn't noticed, the bell just rang, so get to your class. Okay. okay. 
Well, that's pretty much what you'd call the start of an average day for me. Pretty exciting, huh? But outside of school, that's a whole other story. We live in the high desert, and up in the hills above our town is the Cosmoscope Research Center. Both my parents work there as astronomers. Psst. Hey, Alexis. Oh, and Alexis, I think she really likes me. Honest, she's just playing hard to get, that's all. Hey, are you as stoked as I am about going up the mountain? Yeah, but we better get moving or else we'll get stuck up there after dark. You're right. Let's get this show on the road. All right. Hey, come on, let's go right. Hey, hey. I'll beat you up hey. here. Hmm. All right, come on. <laughs> Woohoo! You're not beating me this time, amigo. Better keep up. Would you hurry up and finish eating? Your useless locator only has a range of 500 yards. Hey, lay off my locator. It was a present. Besides, I don't see you with anything better. Would you just move your butt? They're getting away. Uh, wait up! Come on, Billy, slow down. You know I got a glandular problem. Hey! <sighs> well, here we are, Carlos. Sweet. So, are you ready? Yeah. Boy, this place is even creepier than I thought. You just make sure we can find our way back. Don't get freaky on me. Everything's under control. All we have to do is follow this rope and we're out of here. Would you hurry up? They've probably gone home already. Hey, you don't have to yell at me. I got feelings too, you know. I'm, tr I'm trying my hardest, but no, nothing's never good enough for you. Aw, oh, quit your belly aching. My therapist says I don't have to take this from you because you're not the boss of me. Besides, I'm getting hungry again. Huh? Uh huh? Check it out! My locator worked! That's Rad's bike! So our little friends are snooping around in some lame old deserted mine shaft, huh? huh? Let's go after them. That doesn't sound like such a good idea. Would you quit being such a wuss all the time? I can't help it. What do we have here? So now which way? I'd say back, because we just ran out of rope. Hey, wait a minute. I got it. We mark our route with rocks. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? You're a regular genius, Einstein. Uh, I'm starting to wonder why I even bother. Rad, you're just jealous because I'm better looking. <laughs> In your dreams, pal. I guess I should have told you before, but ever since I was a kid, I've had a fear of dark, spooky places. You know, if you spent as much energy walking as whining, we would have found a... Huh? huh? Oh, this is just great. Now which way did they go? This is all your fault. What are you blaming me for, huh? It was your bright idea to follow them. You know, I've had just about as much as I can take. So if you're too chicken, then turn around and go home, because I am so done with your whining. Ugh. I would have had more fun if I brought my sister. Hey, well, wait up, Billy. You can't leave me here all alone. Besides, you still got my chocolate bar in your pocket. Did you hear that? Probably just water dripping. Yeah. Or maybe it's just your overactive imagination. But I could have sworn I heard voices. Whatever. Uh, uh, uh. Sh shine your light up there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I can't even handle this. Fire There's that noise again, and it seems closer. You're losing it. Let's go scope this out, okay? Hey, where are you going? Man, this thing is really starting to bug me. Uh, 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 hey, Carlos, look out!
Gross! You okay, man? Yeah, but what just happened here? It's like we opened up some hidden shaft and ended up in this old chamber. Let's check it out. Oh, huh? <laughs> huh? Holy cow! What in the world is that? Transformers. Transformers. I don't think we were the first ones down here. And whatever it was, it sure doesn't look like it was from Earth. But the good thing is, it looks like it's been stuck in this cave for a while. Yeah. You think anyone lives down here? I guess there's only one way to find out. Hey, if anyone's down here, speak up or forever hold your peace, okay? Can we just turn back, Billy? I think my blood sugar's running dangerously low. This is the last time I'm gonna say this. We're not leaving until we find what they're looking for. But what if they're lost like us, huh? That means we could be trapped in here for an eternity. Please stop it. Now you're getting me all freaked out. Whoa, something really bizarre happened down here. Yeah, look at these rocks. They're all melted. Hey, check it out, a staircase. This is getting stranger by the minute. Come on, let's keep looking. Do you have any clue what happened down here, Rad? I wish I did. It almost looks like some kind of UFO crash site. No kidding. Hey, Rad, you think these stairs are safe? Whoa, hey, Carlos, uh, be careful. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Whoa. Huh. Hey, Carlos, over here. Oh, please, Rad, be careful, okay? Oh, man, what is it? I don't know, but it sure looks radioactive to me.
Oh man, I'm totally lost, bud. Just keep running. Hey, hey, wait a sec. This is starting to look familiar. Hey, dude, check it out, the rope. <laughs> you the man. Uh, uh, oh, fresh air. Would you uh, keep going? Because this whole uh, place could still blow. Uh, Come on. Yeah, yeah, I'm right behind you. <sighs> what? Uh, Huh? It's starting to get freaky again! What is that thing? No clue! Tell us something. He wants us to jump on. Yeah, like you can understand him. I know this is gonna sound strange, but I think I can. Then let's go for it, guys. He just might be our ticket out of here. This is sweet! Let's just hope our little friend here can stay one step ahead of Robo Geek. Uh, I bet Metalhead's on his way home by now. Besides, there's no way he could keep up with us. You were staying, Carlos! Can't this thing go any faster? I hope that's a yes! I thought you could understand him! You have something of mine. We have what? Give it back immediately, or you shall suffer the consequences. Oh, great. Huh? I have given you your chance, Earthling. Stand down, Megatron! Huh? <sighs>
get the feeling this is all my fault. 